Next game on the list, we have, according to Bavada, Tampa Bay plus one at Jacksonville. And now Tampa Bay getting the point here. I think Tampa Bay is the better team at this point. Uh, you know, Jacksonville has to find their identity again with Nick Foles. I think both teams would be able to score, but I think Tampa Bay is the better team. The only thing is, like, I have one, you know, one of my rules in gambling is don't bet on Jameis Winston. Just don't do it. He's too volatile. He's like plutonium. I, I, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with him in terms of uh, betting my money on him. Uh, but I will take Tampa Bay in terms of picks in this podcast. Uh, now for, uh, let's see, the fantasy football. Jameis Winston I actually have as a, uh, as a fringe sit there. Um, I don't love his projection this week. I did last week. I don't this week. Um, I think uh, Ronald Jones does quite well this week. I think he'll score. Uh, let's see. Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, I think, will do well. But Mike Evans has been kind of disappointing, hasn't he? Chris Godwin has kind of ascended in this offense. So good for Chris, God- Chris Godwin. But I do think Mike Evans will uh, he will get back to normal. I think Tampa Bay is going to need their tight ends. I don't love the projection on them. But I do think we'll have an O.J. Howard sighting this week. We'll see. Uh, Jacksonville, I actually like Nick Foles' uh, projection quite a bit, though I did last week as well, and he didn't show up at all. Uh, but I do have Nick Foles as a start. I have Leonard Fournette as a start, a definite start and a touchdown. I think D.J. Chark has a really nice game against Tampa. And I think that... Um, uh, Chris Conley, actually, I have projected to have a nice game. So if you're looking for a waiver pickup, he's a nice one for me uh, this week. And if you're looking for a daily fantasy budget play, I think he's a great one as well.